They know plenty of people that still use it in production. There are still plenty of paying customers running in production at um, a company that actually bought some of the enterprise tooling from Docker. Let's just pull it up. Let's just, let's just go look. So Docker still talks about Swarm in their documentation. There have been new features this year. And Marantis has actually Marantis actually has a page on Swarm. Like a marketing page. You know, the kind of page um, kind of page like uh, one that kind of the page that I should have always had. Right, just swarm. So here we go. And you got swarm people on. You, you came to the swarm place. Uh, it's funny. I always warn guests who are maybe in a place that's possibly. They, they might not care about Swarm. I can have a guest who doesn't think Swarm is a thing. Or they, it might be all in on Kubernetes or whatever. I will warn them and say, hey, um, there are some Swarm fans that hang out on my show with me and uh, get Swarm questions of, like, how does this compare to Swarm? Can you this support Swarm? Uh, sad that the answer is almost always no. But um, they, they're, they always think, they were always kind of surprised to hear about we actually have a nice little swarm community that I feel like is growing inside of our Discord server. And people are trying to find a way around the complexity of Kubernetes. Or maybe they've even implemented Kubernetes and they realize six months later that the maintenance of maintaining their own Kubernetes solutions uh, is a little more work than they expected. So they're looking for something with less work. And swarm might be the answer for them. This year, the big buzz has been on CNI support, or sorry, CSI support, specifically getting third-party storage systems to support Docker and Swarm in a way that you can fail over and 